Welcome to Billy Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today I'm looking at the Poxis All In. Um, it's taken a little while to get here, and I am ready for it. I have my heat gun, and I have my knife, so I'm ready to open this up and see which one I'm going to review. Today we're looking at Thrace Wraith Haler. So Thrace Wraith Haler right out the box. I was a bad boy. I took her out and I started messing with her. I started bending joints and twisting things. And just for a note, it is currently 69 degrees in my house. And probably in this room, it's a little bit hotter. But I took her. And from all the gossip and the the, the QC issue kind of uh, chatter, um, I checked the two main things people have been talking about. Uh, her right knee and her right hand. I've been hearing this is super tight. This is super loose. I've seen the peg break off directly on that joint right there. Just snap right off. I've seen the pictures of it. I've seen all that jazz. So I was like, okay, let me, let me just take her out of the box and fiddle with her. So I, I didn't have any issues with this knee. It was a little tight, but right now, after letting it sit in my house for a day, I, it's, it's, it's like 70 degrees outside Mississippi. So it's kind of not fair for everybody up North cold front, cold area, stuff like that. Cause I'm, I'm experiencing like a mild summer right now in February. So yeah, but this, this is the tightest 2.0 figure in a good way. I think I've handled, um, all of the like elbows and knees have where they feel good and feel tight. Her ankles have where they're also just, it just feels right. I have to, I have to push on it. It's not like er, er, er. it, it, it feels like it's, there's some resistance in there. It feels like something, something good has happened with these joints. Um, again, this is a Thrace Wraith collar from an all in. I don't know if that has where it was manufactured last, first, middle or what, but mine from my all in has where it works wonderfully. So that's my take on it. It's in my hands now. Wonderful. Love this chick. Um, just to quickly go over the figure real quick. Uh, it has the standard 2.0 uh, articulation um, plus a gorgeous face sculpt. Like this is just wow. Just wow. I didn't get to see this in person at Legion's Con. I think it was 2022. 2021, I, they are, they're starting to blend together now. Um, but like, I, I didn't expect like her to look this good. And then her alternate head has where it's also just super striking. Like it's, I'm glad I ordered another one of her, uh, on honestly, like crap. I kind of, I kind of hope I get like a third one now. I probably will pick up a third one from my favorite Legion's retailer, Wolf King Customs. Dot com, but uh, it's it's kind of astounding, and it has like her hair is a separate a separate piece here, so it's just like it's cute. It has where it's fun. I, I thrice is the bomb. That's all there is to it. Uh to the other articulation, it's still two point Her arms go up so far. Uh, elbows been so far. She has decently tight wrists, honestly. Like, uh, I'm used to having where 2.0s, if you stick something in their hand and it has where it's like, uh, weighted to one side, it will just spin. But like, it is, it is some resistance in there. That is good. Resistance over here. That's good. Up and down. Well, left and right hinges on there. Real good. She has a ball at the top of the torso here. Uh, a new... New chest sculpt here. I like, I like this so much. This, this kind of, I, I, leather, I don't want to say it, may, is it a corset? I am not good on 
clothing at all. And then she has a twist at the top, well, the bottom of her waist here. And it's nice and tight. She has this cool new style belt. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, actually, this is this is a new sculpted like hip piece here, loin piece. She doesn't have a loin, uh, plastic loincloth piece there. She has the fabric and the fabric. The fabric is fantastic. This is see Jessam out did himself on this. It feels like the wire is the right weight for this. Um, I know people were like, oh no, Mask of the Red Death has to wear the wires a little limp and stuff. And it was a little bit, I will admit. But like this has where it's like a slightly higher gauge or quality there. It's just, it's just wonderful. And you can see like the, the sewing in there. It, it is black, but you can see it. You can see like the pleating right there. That's, that's super cool. Um, standard 2.0 legs, you know, you can spread, spread the legs so far. Has a twist at the top of the hip, range on the knees, twist at the ankle, back and forth, and then a rocker. And let me get that down. Unladylike there. Oh, but it's. I can just flip this around and it's just like. She's fantastic. Um, she also comes with her. Was it cloak? Hood? I'm going to call it a hood. She also comes with a hood, and before I put it on her, I'll just go over it by itself. Um, you have to take her head off to put it in there. It has a hole for her neck peg to go through, and then you place the head on there. And it, it's a heavier gauge wire than what's in there, so it has where it should pose really well there. And it's 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 layered there. It's two layers going on. Um, it's. The quality of this material is, I don't, I don't, I don't have nice things like for clothes and stuff. I'm just going to put that out there. This is really nice. This is, this is really nice feeling. Um, I'll get that on her in a minute uh, for, for final thoughts there. Um, she also has a staff and it has the crystal kind of like the crystal at the end there. And this is like partially new, I believe. Um, I th think, actually, I think this is entirely new. I can't remember if this is anywhere, but this, this is new with this clear, clear crystal on there. That's, that's super cool. That came on and went off easy and it feels like, let me see if we can hear that there. Like it's just tight enough. Like it's not, let me get back on there. Like it's not gonna fly 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 off so it's on there pretty good so that's super cool um she also has uh her pauldrons and then separate hands let's take all these hands right there it's up and down for like her kind of magic casting hands and then she has the um what is it vertical yeah vertical hands for her staff so she can go forward and back like that uh, she also has magic effects so this is the first time i've gotten to fiddle with magic effects so let me get these out of here because they're Two different ones. Um, got their zip tied in there. It's get 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 get. There we go. Understand this goes on. This can go on here. So I'm just gonna wrap it around there because they have where they're real pliable. They're in translucent plastic, and just from how they're sculpted, you can just put them on there any way you want to. I could do. I could actually probably do this up a little higher, a little lower. Um, but it has where it's it's done to coil around and just kind of get it wedged on there. And then she has where she's like casting a serpent, which is which is super cool. It's really well detailed. I could see them reusing this sculpt and having where they actually paint this and everything. And honestly, if you want to, you could have where it goes and then fades into a painted part. I'm a man. I'm like, I don't, it's probably days away from someone painting the end of this because that's, that's super cool. Um, it also has this... Uh, super neat skull one as well so you can have that somewhat on there i believe if i can get it just just right if you wanted to do that one as well on there um also i think i've seen this with it on her hand like let's see here it's a it's it's somewhat pliable but it's also rigid like i would i would actually want like blast effects or something like that out of this 
because it holds its shape pretty well, it seems. Um, also with this, it feels, it feels kind of rigid. If you wanted, mm, I think out of anything, if I had where, like, I try to bend this, I might, like, break this, but it has where, if it heated up more, I could probably fiddle with it more. I've seen people sticking this in through a skeleton's mouth and have it coming out, and that was super cool. Uh, let's see here. I actually want to take her hand and not stick it into her wrist like that. And you can have this coming out if I had her casting hand on there. That would look really cool. Back and forth. Coming out of there. So that's another thing you do with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get her all set up and give you my final thoughts on her finally. So after getting her cloak on, getting all her magic effects, magic effects on there, swapping out our hands. And I got to say, these hands were the uh, easiest 2.0s to swap out uh, I've ever had to deal with. Um, Thrace Wraith Caller is a fabulous first pit figure to pick out of my all-in to mess with because, like, she's fantastic. She, like, between the soft goods, the articulation, all the extras, the extra hands... Like, this is next level Mythic Legions. This is this is probably one of the best figures I've messed with so far in 2024. And if I had it in 2023, it would have been one of the best figures of 2023. It's it's fantastic. Um, I think these are still available on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, also, check out your like local shops. Um, the approved uh, Mythic Legions retailer list. Go support them because don't. Don't sleep on Thrace. I know people are talking some smack, but you know what? She can back it up. She can she can back up being a quality friggin' figure. So, this has been Billy Beige. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.